What's going on, everybody? It's Nolan from Snapzilla on a Friday, February the 16th. Bringing you a snapshot of another Overlook game on the App Store that just released. This one's called Donuts Drift. Yeah, Donuts Drift. By I, mean, I know I'm going to destroy the developer's name here, but Dimitri Illies or Lies. I don't know. I can't tell if that's an I L I E S or a double L, but Dimitri Illies. I guess. Uh, let me know if I destroyed the name. Anyways, uh, it's really basic. Uh, I don't know what you call these games. It's a spinny game. That's it. And I'm really screwing up because I'm trying to talk and play at the same time here. Yeah. Let me just run out of gas. All right. Uh, let's start this over. Hi, right, everybody. This is Nolan from Snapzilla. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, the object is to drive your vehicle around these circles. Basically drift around them. They, there's a lot of these games that are out on the App Store right now where usually you're jumping from planet to planet and spinning off them. This is actually a really cool take on it. Even though you're not technically jumping on these planets but as you can see it's you're you're basically just you got to make a complete circle around each big circle i guess the car actually does handle Pretty much like a you know an arcadey vehicle. That's one of the things I really like about this. Because you could have done this game with, you know, a square going around circles, and it would have kind of played the same. But the fact that it's a car drifting around it completely makes the game that much more better. But your fuel is constantly running out. You can pick up fuel along the way, but every time you make a drift, like that was a perfect one there, you'll gain fuel. So it's a each level is endless. So the object is just to get as far as you can. Like, I'm killing it right now. Spoke too soon. Another thing that I thought was kind of cool is you level up each time. Or, not each time, but you level up after so many points. And the car upgrades. So your car does handle a little differently. It drifts a little better. And it actually changes what I thought was cool. So you're not staring at the same vehicle every time. I would, I would have really loved to see a game like this done with like, you know, nice pixel art visuals. And, but as it is, I, I'm really digging it. And I'm trying not to talk as much here, but there's also quests that you can go into, and I'm guessing these quests go towards your your vehicle, your main level, I guess, for your upgrades. And it looks like there's some work in progress, like the ability to get different vehicles, and it looks like free gifts. 
So I don't know if the game's not completely done or there's just you know future projects on it. But as it is, it's it's a really cool game and I hope to see it get a little more attention. All right, I'll do one more run. Uh, I did want to mention there is an alternate control scheme. You have either, I've been playing with just the left and right arrows. There is kind of a joystick too. Both, I, I kind of prefer the arrows. I'm kind of sloppy on the joystick here. You do get used to it after, <laughs> apparently not, after a couple playthroughs. I am apparently horrible at it now. I promise I, I did do all right on it before I started recording. Whatever, it's going to prove me wrong here. I'm all over the place. All right, one more to redeem myself. I like to say I prefer the the arrows over the joystick, but I did kind of get used to the joystick for a hot minute. Anyway, this is Donuts Drift. Uh, my high score is 83 if anyone wants to come at me. It's on the App Store right now. I'll put the link to it below. And it's in this week's Snap Roundup, so I'll put the link for that below also. But, yeah, this is another one that didn't get much attention with a uh, new crop of games this week. So, definitely pick this one up if you get a chance.